Greetings, crystalline Christos beings of eternal light and eternal life. This is it. Nothing stopping us now. We are being activated. We are ascending. Many powerful codes coming through the sun today. This morning, I was getting pulsing, intense energies through my brain and skull. Probably didn't help that I did over 30 hours water fast on a full moon. But why don't we just take everything to an extreme? <laughs> yeah, it's like Buckminster Fuller would say, live life like an experiment. So today, many pulsing energies and codes coming through the sun. We had an amazing sunset. Some of the pictures at the end today are I took with my phone. And you'll see a couple with light codes coming through the sun. Also today, in a portal, I recorded a meditation with more codes coming in and Eagle Condor codes that I'm posting for on our Patreon page. So anyone on Patreon, check that out. Called Meditation the Portal by the Sacred River. A little extra bonus for your extra support. Now today, many codes coming in. We had 888. 82 degrees at 208, 1010 portal, 77 degrees at 707, 333 energies of the angelic realm. And it was funny, I received a threat from YouTube today that said a copyright strike that they will terminate my account if I do two more in the next three months. Go ahead, YouTube, Google, keep poking the bear because I am the Terminator, and I'll be back. It's like there was an old saying, too big to fail. Like they said with the Titanic, and Enron, and Bernie Madoff, all these things. And guess what? Nothing is too big to fail. But that's okay. I will not terminate you, but the Red Dragons will. Although YouTube and Google will be taken over very soon by benevolent forces. So no worries, and even if they take down my channel, I'll continue to create content on Patreon or figure something else out. I'm, I'm not worried about it. Everything's amping up. I got a couple threats for legal action against using other people's images and videos in the last couple of weeks. It's like, keep it up. Nothing's stopping us. Isn't that right, brothers and sisters of the light? Today, again, another 24 hours. So we had 48 hours of the strange... Anomaly, most of you I'm sure saw at this point on the Schumann charts. Day two of what they're calling blackout, but looks like the great spirit took its hand across the chart and just smeared it. And now their sight is down. I was just seeing if it was updated in the last hour and disclosurenews.it. I started this at 11.44. The 144 code, also 1111 energies coming in today through these sacred portals. And into, in the video today, multiple omens coming through today, which I'll talk about at the end. But as I was preparing for today's transmission, this albino bald eagle popped up on my feed or stream or whatever you call it. So I posted that in this image as another omen. I just jumped on the earthquake track and we had 105 earthquakes in the last 24 hours earlier there was a big circle of earthquakes around the atlantean energy in the gulf looked like it's surrounding the gulf of mexico and the caribbean caribbean sea also again like every day the ring of fire totally lit up totally activated starting this morning in panama with a 4.5 then jumping up to the Gulf of Alaska 3.3, 3.7, and the Virgin Islands with the Atlantean energy. Charlotte Amalie, 44.2 miles, 3.7 magnitude. We're getting to 37 and 37 kilometers depth of 73 into the 37, heaven on earth. 37, 37 is also 1010 portal at 1006 UTC, September third then the sacred portal of greece the divine feminine attica 4.3 then flomaton alabama 
Alabama getaway that's over there, right by the Gulf of Mexico, southern Atlanta, with a 3.8, the 11 energy, 11.2 kilometers from Flomaton, or Flomaton, I'm not sure how, that's pronounced 1507 UTC, then Indonesia, 5.3, Chile, again in Atacama, 4.0, that portal has been active for three days, and then we had a 4-4 about five hours ago in the same portal at Atacama, Chile, and then over in Fukushima, Japan, where we know that disaster happened, 5.3, 35 kilometers depth. So we have the 8-8 code within this activation portal, 37.169 latitude, 142.561 longitude. Again, the 37. Then again in South Sandwich Islands, 4.9. South Shetland Islands, 5.0. And the crown of Lemuria in the Aleutian Islands, 4.4. The 4.4 code of the divine 44. Then at 4.5 in Japan, another 4.4 in Chile, Atacama, three hours ago. Indonesia, around the same time, 4.5. Another in Chile, 4.2. And then we had this powerful 5.0 southwest of Africa, the South Atlantic Sea, the 323 UTC. So the whole grid is lit up. The Lemurian energy, divine feminine, totally lit up. I'm totally lit up right now, as I'm sure many of you are. And that 5.0 in South Shetland Islands was right there again. The trunk of the elephant, the smiling, the big grinning elephant of Antarctica. Kind of looks like Dumbo. <laughs> if I could fly, I would fly away. So let's get started with today's first transmission from Divine Sister of the Light, Judith Kusel. If you expect life to be the same as it was even three months ago, you will find that indeed, that it is an illusion. The immense shifts are happening so fast now as we already have stepped fully into the new golden age that no matter how much you wish to go backwards, you cannot. For indeed, the past does not exist anymore in the old earth and humanity, except in holographic form kept alive by those who do not wish to leave the old polarity, the old duality, and all it pertains to. Yet in the end, all is dissipating of the old, it cannot hold form, as yet the new is non-form, that is exactly what it needs to be, for non-form embraces all of creation, out of the no-form we emerge as the highest divine soul selves, in the beginning there was word, Brahma, out of the no-form all forms emerge, remember this, we are being resurrected into a totally new form of life and living and existing on planet earth, the highest soul self is atoned, or at one with the divinity within, from judithkusel.com. And today we have two transmissions from Divine Bro Star of the Light, Michael Love. One from yesterday, the second, and then one from today, the third, speaking about this strange pattern and anomaly, and anomaly, <laughs> on the, uh, what do you call that, the Schumann charts. So the event 2020, powerful cosmic energies impact Earth. Pleiadian light forces transmission 9-2-2020, 2, 2, 2 portal, channeled by Michael Love. Prelude, the following information is derived from direct, decoded, etheric transmissions from benevolent light forces docked in Earth's solar system, and some of the data comes directly from certain inside Earth Alliance members known as the White Hats, and the Great White Brotherhood, strategically placed in key positions of Earth guardianship, the galactics on the surface of planet Earth, begin transmission, Great Ones. As Earth's solar system moves back into light of the central sun and as the new golden age of Aquarius of 12-21-2020 draws near, light forces are bombarding the planet with high levels of 5D gamma light from the galactic core, Increasing amounts of this high vibrational light are streaming into Earth's atmosphere every day now, raising consciousness levels all around the planet. 
The light is being sent to Earth intentionally by benevolent light forces docked in Earth's atmosphere for the purpose of assisting humanity in their grand ascension to the fifth dimensional new Earth. These grand beings came en masse into Earth's solar system near the end of the Earth year 2018 and have been working closely with the Earth Alliance in preparation for humanity's next level of evolution. The time when this positive evolutionary leap occurs on Earth is referred to by the Earth Alliance as the event. The event has been well underway on Earth for some time now and is building to a climatic, energetic point called the Compression Breakthrough. This is the moment when high levels of 5D central sunlight will penetrate the atmosphere, triggering an instant upgrade of all DNA in this cosmos as well as planet Earth. Ancient prophecies about this time, the celestial signs leading up to it, all Earth Alliance intel derived directly from light forces and every data marker in this cosmos points to the fact that this grand time is imminent and in fact only Earth, three Earth months away. This magnificent moment on Earth's evolutionary timeline coincides with the winter solstice of Earth year 2020 when important celestial stargates will open and one eon long epoch darkness gives way to a new one filled with light. As you know, things are becoming super energetic on the surface as we move closer to this marker in time and we are already feeling the powerful effects of the grand shift that is about to occur. Humanity is currently undergoing a great awakening and the entire 3D matrix has been completely shaken up by these powerful energies. Earth Alliance Intel now confirms that Life Forces initiated the final phase of Operation Event 2020 approximately 28 Earth hours ago and all systems are currently in a max flux energy state as the new 5D VTXC light grid begins to come online. Earth resonance monitoring stations all around the planet are reporting erratic energy patterns they have never witnessed, being recording by their equipment since yesterday and they do not have a 3D explanation for why this is happening. A brand new frequency of energy is permeating Earth right now that displays a super harmonic wave pattern on visual charts. The latest harmonic 5D gamma light wave coming into Earth has sustained for over two Earth days now. The Earth Alliance data shows that over the last Earth week, frequencies around the planet shifted dramatically and cosmic ray levels coming into Earth's atmosphere are rising and will reach a max Q state before the end of the year 2020. The Earth Alliance is closely monitoring these new energy patterns closely and Delta security forces are on high alert as the new Earth 5D crystalline light grid is retrofitted into place. The powerful cosmic energy is sifting everything and everyone on the planet, causing all lower vibrational energies to come to the surface quickly to be transmuted. It is a time to be strong in your inner spiritual core so you will be able to fully integrate these powerful 5D energies into your layered bodies. The planet has reached a critical point in its history and evolution, and the beings of Earth are about to make a quantum leap in consciousness. Higher realms are crashing into 3D with great force and the energetic pressure of this dimensional clash is tremendous as you can feel it all in your body and your auric field. As the light comes in, the new 5D crystalline cell light body is formed and developed and this causes some major disruption to say the least in the auric field, the physical body, the mind and the emotions. A frequency change of this magnitude is so abrupt it can jar your system quite a bit. This high frequency photon light had an intense impact on the star seeds of planet Earth, resulting in a record number of strong ascension symptoms being reported over the last seven Earth days. Here are some of the ascension symptoms being reported during this major dimensional shift. Flu-like symptoms, waves of nausea, third eye pressure, ringing in the ears, body aches, dizziness, hard to balance, feeling super tired, sleep difficulty, heart palpitations, anxiety, extreme emotions, accelerated dehydration, bloating, feeling spaced out and disoriented, vivid dreams, clear etheric downloads. There is no cause for serious concern as long as you hydrate, practice gentle self-care, and avoid stress as much as possible, and get some sleep and rest. Just take it easy, dear one, and practice self-care during this grand shift. 
Know that the current ascension symptoms you may be experiencing are a result of a natural DNA activation process that is occurring all across this cosmos. The Pleiadians are holding humanity's hand right now, and they are watching everything that is happening right now on planet Earth, all of it. They have always come to assist humanity at just the right moment down through the ages, and they are here again, especially during this great time. Here is our counsel for you now. Be a child at heart again and fully enjoy life. Focus only on what you love right now and do not be concerned with the shake-up in the 3D matrix. For now, play, listen to good music, dance, enjoy art. Remember the ancient knowledge and you will know all things. Trust your heart and just be yourself, no matter what anyone thinks. Be still and know who you truly are. Meditate daily and you shall be full of light. Use crystals to help manage your energy. Simply be the higher being that you already are. Being this is your legacy. Understand the cure for all things is nature. Eat and only drink from its table. Be in the golden sun. Breathe its air. Swim in its waters. Lay your body on the earth. The highest Pleiadian teaching is this. Only vibrate high. This is how you ascend to the top of the universe. The Pleiadians say everything is about to shift dramatically as we move closer to the end of 2020. Are you ready? Know that all is well and as it should be, as a great evolutionary change continues to occur. This grand year on planet Earth, a new era for humanity is drawing near and soon great light will transform everything in this world. Stand by, Great One, as we move into the next phase of the event 2020 and the appearance of the long-awaited Golden Age. All systems green light tango go for the grand event 2020 culmination. Thank you for coming to Earth at this time and for all the great sacrifices you made on behalf of all humanity. Let us know what ascension symptoms or major life changes you may be experiencing at this time. And the second transmission, the event 2020, the Earth frequency update from 9-3-2020. For 48 Earth hours ago, the Earth Alliance detected an unprecedented type of energy wave occurring in the Earth's magnetic field, which is still ongoing at this hour. We can tell you about this incredible energy event. There has been heightened Earth Alliance intel and chatter over the last 72 hours regarding an imminent major positive energy shift that is about to occur on planet Earth. This latest intel also shows a major escalations by benevolent life forces in preparation for this coming event. Earth-based Schumann frequency monitoring stations have confirmed there are no equipment failures and they are still recording this long duration event with absolutely no changes in the signal for over 48 hours now. From an Earth science point of view, this strange energetic pattern is very real. It is a non-terrestrial energy wave this is not coming from Earth, but originating from space, and it's not coming from the Sun. The wave contains a perfect harmonic structure which does not look at all like the normal 3D, 4D, and 5D energy spikes on the Schumann resonance graph. The signature of this harmonic energy wave is perfect, beautiful, and 100% peaceful and divine. The frequency signature of the energy wave is interestingly similar to the harmonic sonar signal broadcast by whales and dolphins as in pleiadian lemurian whales and dolphins we just felt that wave didn't we from our beloved whale and dolphin nation they just sent a healing wave of higher dimensional frequency through our bodies and whenever you feel that energy just pause this and sit with it for a while and let it move through your body and anchor that energy of the codes, the frequencies, the resonance deep into the crystalline core of Pachamama. For we are all connected through this crystalline grid all over Pachamama. On every point, on every portal, star blossoms are stationed right now for the next several days for this great anchoring of our higher codes. And this type of unique harmonic energy wave has never been detected or measured before in Earth's Schumann cavity. <sighs> the Earth Alliance also reports that the largest energy spike ever recorded on the Schumann resonance occurred yesterday on 9 to 2020. Things are heating up energetically as we move closer to the golden Aquarian age of light and the new 5D Earth. 
The Schumann resonance measures the vibration of planet Earth in Hertz frequency. The Earth's Schumann frequencies correlate exactly with the 3D, 4th, and 5th dimensional levels. These dimensional levels also exactly match the primary levels of human consciousness, the 5th level being the gamma state of being, which is a bliss, heaven-like state of perfection where supernatural and divine power begins to operate. The Earth Alliance is closely monitoring this unprecedented energy event and will bring more data as it becomes available. Godspeed, Michael and the Pleiadians, 5dearthproject.com. And what came through earlier today for myself and our angelic team is these waves coming in are from our 12D Venusian higher dimensional selves. And if that resonates with you, just feel into that energy. And as part of this blue and purple wave of energy, the purple is our higher heart, the Venusian elevation into the blue, which is the 70 Venusian divine feminine energy of the great and sacred condor. Today, from 222 coming in, from Lisa Marie Wright, Divine Sister of the Light, stop blaming, searching, seeking, conforming, comparing, competing, controlling, trying to know, understand it all. You are the magic. All is within. Release blockages. Trust what flows through you and the process. There is nothing you need outside of self. Trust all will flow to through you in perfect divine timing. Know your power. Know your worth. Shine like the unique, beautiful, brilliant, radiant, powerful, magical expression of source that you truly are. Own your magic. I now release all fear limits, protective armor, and allow abundance of all forms to flow to, through me, with grace and ease. It is done. Clean slate, zero point. We build anew on a solid foundation of pure, unconditional love and service to the highest good of all. Let the celebrations begin. Our love has restored it all. Where there is pure love, there are always miracles. Know that the fruits of our labors are paying off in much more tangible and miraculous ways. Expect miracles always. Huge shifts on the physical plane unfolding. We are rocking this shift. Amazing teamwork. We are home. Today from Divine Bro Star of the Light, Ra James. Hopefully you can feel all of this energy. We have so much energy still from last night's Pisces full moon. It's going to make today extra dreamy. Today is a good day to try to stick to your normal routine. We are in Virgo season, so it's very important that we are getting to work. Much of this work will be found in fixing our lives and in our healing. We have a ton of energy coming in still. Earth's magnetic field has been rumbling since the 28th. We are moving through a fast-flowing solar wind stream right now. This energy is flowing through a northern hole in the sun's atmosphere. There's a powerful combination of lunar, solar, and galactic energies that we are feeling. We are going to continue to see an increase in these storms, bursts, and flares. This energy being streamed through our sun. This energy is coming straight from our source. These are particles of light. They are filled with light colds that are changing us physically and spiritually. These waves of high frequency energy are triggering the activation of your dormant DNA strands. As the frequencies are going up your body, they must adjust to the new resonance. These new energies are upgrading you in every way. It's also activating and bringing your light body online. You may be feeling disoriented as we have been making some major shifts lately. Some of you may also be a little sleepy. Celestial events really tend to disturb or disrupt our sleep cycles. You may be feeling an increase in your psychic connection, feeling your intuition more and more, knowing your path, seeing things before they happen, deja vu, pressure in the head, ringing in the ears, hearing frequencies, an increase in synchronicity, angel codes or numbers, instant manifestation, feeling or sensing different energies or even spirits, lucid dreaming, astral encounters, and tuning into new abilities. Full moons represent completion. This full moon should have taught you to take good care of your body. You also may be really feeling this energy in your third eye or crown. We have been going through a lot of activations with the upper chakras. This energy is getting us ready for the autumn equinox. 
Remember, as you do the inner work, that's how you change the outer situations in your life. Everything is always responding to your energy. We can expect some massive shifts in the next months as these energies continue to increase. From Sparks of Divine Light Healing dot com, today from Divine Sister of the Light Elizabeth Peru. This week, the daily cosmic energy is on your side with the power day of nine nine and the beginning of the once in two year Mars retrograde. Indeed, there will be a two point five two and a half days where there will be seven planetary retrogrades occurring until Jupiter moves direct next weekend. This energy coupled with the Mars effect makes this week where you'll be catalyzing into reviewing your past as an observer in order to find or bring forward innate aspects of yourself that enhance who you are today. From ElizabethPeru.com And today, from the Gene Keys Unlocking the Higher Purpose Hidden in Your DNA by Richard Rudd, today Gene Key 64, the final hexagram of the Yi Ching with the 64 codes mirroring the 64 codons in the DNA. September 3rd through September 8th, 2020, confusion, imagination, and illumination. In higher dimensions, colors exist that are so exquisite that we would dissolve if we saw them. We perceive color through the physical eye, but to the CDs, there is only one eye, and therefore all color is infinite. That is something worthy of contemplation. There are infinite colors. These colors are God's lilas, God's play. They are the fractal shards of creation, endlessly being created and then dissolving again. Our lives are those colors. We are a mandala. All our incarnations are creating this work of art like a Tibetan danka. Our sufferings, our ecstasies, our successes and our failures, they all go into the artwork. Dare to be the hand that paints. Dare to be the canvas. Dare to be the paint itself. We are all of it. Dare to be illuminated. Excerpt from Dare to be Divine. And from the Yi Ching, hexagram 64, before completion, fire rises while water descends. Alchemical art balances divergent forces, discovering the ecstatic within the divine. Illumination is rapturous devotion. Imagination is lightness and commitment. Confusion is desiring half-heartedness, passionate communication. Thus the superior man is careful in differentiation of things so that each finds its place. The 64th gene key, along with its programming partner, the 63rd, are such an extraordinary pairing. The whole Yi Ching can be reduced down to four gene keys, the 1 and 2 and the 63 and 64. The bookends, which mystically contain all other gene keys. Richard Rudd, 64 Ways, from genekeys.com. And today, from the Archangelic Calendar, the calendar, Gaia is in the element of water, but it does not determine her mood. If she were a dragon, she would be breathing all of the elements simultaneously while talking smack about it. Gaia's heart and soul are her children, and she finally has enough strength to protect them. The Schumann Resonance indicates that we are vastly successful in yesterday's portal assignment. Our masterful execution of a timeline jump is something that no one could have possibly expected. This undeniable sign shows how the Lightworker Legion is finally figuring out why they are the most potent force in the physical universe. The full moon caused a great deal of motion and this is a day of progression. Considering it is also a day of transmutation, you can assume moving forward will manifest via the exit of something that no longer serves us. These events are a path of closure, and many are grateful to see its presence regardless of the outcome. 5D and Legion News We are moving forward in a safe and balanced way. It is incredible to see the level of balance the universe is achieving via this reality. Our collective higher selves are running like a well-oiled machine. The only thing left is for the densest part of ourselves to fully follow suit. We have new ascension symptoms to endure, but they are attached to some auspicious supernatural powers and will be well worth it. These are symptoms that affect the lymphatic system, and it is for sure a different method than the other ones that are mostly nervous system based. 
These upgrades are very cellular and may remind you of the womb's development, the embryonic fluid. Operation Underground Railroad is officially welcomed into our legions. They are a warrior group that rescues trafficked children through intense operations. These brave soldiers are in various archangelic legions, and with this inclusion, they get a fierce legion presence in times of conflict, not to mention all the innate metaphysical backing that goes along with it. Galactic news and engineering, there will be scattered energy as the universe sorts itself out from the tremendous changes it has been going through. The entire planet moved with our legion's efforts, and humanity already feels this. In the divine microcosm, the energy will be erratic until Surzi, the galaxy and Gaia Earth, complete organizing said anomalies as well. Parades of benevolent starships are in our skies. Those with the eyes to see will always see, and those who do not will not. They will be making themselves known to you in new and very creative ways. Meant to be a fun and playful interaction, this will be an unusual interaction to say the least. So please be advised. The geometric storm accompanied by our timeline shift is not exactly a storm, but a pushing of rapid energy caused by the timeline change. What's the difference, you may ask? It's all about the perception of its origins. A hyper-focused galactic team called Peaceful Transition has brought us 36 more light frequencies that are available now. These 36 light codes will be visible to all who are sensitive to such color frequencies. 3D News, many large organizations are purposely bankrupting themselves. They know their evil plan is for total calamity and for life to cease as we know it. They are assuming their plan will succeed, which it will not. We caught a new star race trying to siphon off of the Earth. They have returned to their home planet and have learned their lesson after a firm talking to from Archangel Raphael. We are thrilled that he is not yelling at one of our legions for a change, which was the case a few days ago. The pure of heart is in a great position, fully protected by divinity, the twenty-one legions, and fate. On the other hand, those who have been spoiled by their deeds, their souls are very much in danger. Our legions' efforts are for all beings' benefit, but one could argue that these efforts are more compassionate towards the darkest among us. Stopping their insurmountable karmic debt is genuine compassion. The repercussions of their actions are unthinkable as is. Please pay attention to the actions of people. Their words are meaningless. Their motions are what counts. You can say anything you want, but it's the follow-through that makes the difference. The tools for today's assignment are in the link in the description below. The assignments for today are... When we go through a timeline jump, there is no way of knowing what is or is not done based on the prior timeline. These assignments are not complete on this timeline. Go back and revisit these assignments. We will be continuing to take inventory for such oversights. But for the most part, everything is in an optimal position on this timeline. As mentioned, Operation Underground Railroad runs tactical operations. By going undercover to rescue traffic children, we will shield and ground them. These beings have a completely different skill set than the Lightworker Legion to help anchor these soldiers to divinity during their operations. We will also send a perpetual violet flame to these operations. This flame always burns bright. Japan is under some heavy fire in regards to weather manipulation. There is a real threat of a GMO typhoon tsunami aimed in their direction. When we can ensure that this plan does not go off the ground by surrounding Japan with pink plasma for a 72 count, if you feel inclined, do the same for all the other shorelines of Earth. A significant battle has just come to an acute halt in Austria. The battle was sloppy and had too many moving parts to name. We must do the dishes on this one and assist with the mess left behind. Assist the many souls in returning to infinitely expanding creator source. There is a mix of pure hearts and dark souls here, so it may take some effort to sort this out. You can usually tell who by their aura signature and the best mode of transport is the stairway to heaven. The best way to convince a spirit to enter the nickname stairway to heaven is to make it appealing. Visions of loved ones at the gate do not work anymore. You must use tremendous metaphysical light variations to create a stellar self-sustaining portal to infinitely expanding creator source known as the stairway to heaven. 
run a violet flame whose origins start in Austria and then radiate it through the planet's circumference. This effort ensures that we leave no stone unchecked and no escape for the remainder of the darkness. If you are working as a team, cooperatively seal all the portals in Austria. If not, superposition yourself to fill them all simultaneously. These portals will be permanently closed and any access points connecting to Austria will have to be with drastically different engineering. Connect with the peaceful transition team. Connect with their energy and ask them to reveal the color codes to you. Then engulf the earth with these color frequencies for as long as you wish to do so. There is a grand blessing going on from the higher dimensions. We will be joining this blessing and synchronizing our efforts. Send the following colors in the form of lights, plasma, breezes, and focus beams for as long as you feel inclined to do so. The color codes, white, pink, light blue, gold, yellow, green, red, black, copper, bronze, brown, teal, rose gold, silver, orange, indigo, violet, platinum, diamond, and rainbow. This is from the archangelicalendar.com and from Tibetan Buddhist master Shamtrul Rinpoche. No matter what happens in space, space can never be harmed or destroyed. Likewise, no matter what arises in the mind, no matter how violent or deluded it is, the nature of mind has always and will always be pure. That is what we call pure awareness, the unborn mind of Buddha which is everyone's true nature, all sentient beings of light. And today from the Zolkin Times, Kin 158, White Lunar Mirror. Lunar is the name for the number two, and its key words are polarize, challenge, and stabilize. The second day of a wave spell is always challenging, but don't fret. It is important to take a look at what holds you back from time to time. Who doesn't avoid problems and stress? Practice self-discipline today and tackle issues you've been putting off. Today is white mirror, which represents reflect order and endlessness. The harsh reality can be a shock, and when it falls on a lunar day, it's unforgiving. Brace yourself for some truths you won't like. Don't feel sorry for yourself, but instead take action to resolve things. Knowing the truth is always better than being kept in the dark. The guide today is the white dog, which symbolizes love, loyalty, and heart. If you have some harsh truths to deliver today... Make sure it comes from the heart in a loving way. And today from Divine Sister of the Light, Christina Papa Giorgio, 111, coming in, White Lunar Mirror, Kin 158, 3 September 2020, Revealing Truth, 3 9 2020, equal 3 9 22, equal 3 13, equal 16, equal 7, 3 Holy Trinity, Joy, Creativity, 9 Destiny, Service, Compassion, Grace, Endings, 7. Mystic, Magic, Spiritual, Solitude. Kin 158 equal 14 equal 5. Transformation, Change, Freedom. Buckle up a challenging day to get out of your own comfort zone and face divine truth. Day 2 in the Red Earth Wave Spell of Evolution. Through navigating our way through the signs, synchronicities, and earth magic, flowing and aligning with the rhythms and cycles of Nova Gaia. Today we are responding to the Earth's impulses in order to anchor that energy into the physical plane, into our physical bodies, environment, and creations. Tone of creation, lunar tone too, in the physical realm. The lunar tone represents the sacred twins, cooperation, relationship, polarity of male and female, and duality. Its action polarizes, power challenges, essence stabilizing. Yesterday we magnetized and attracted spiritual energy. And today we anchor that energy into our physical bodies and physical environment. The lunar tone may also reveal challenges, any distortions in the mirror world, in order to recognize and release anything stopping us from navigating our true path, the divine path desired by spirit for our collective destiny. The lunar mirror is a very powerful passage to navigate as it's like a double mirror. The mirror reflects. The lunar tone magnifies the forces of polarity. So the resistance, obstacles, lies, and distortions will be in our face. There is nowhere to hide from divine truth. The sword of truth cleanly cuts away all distortions, leaving you with a clean foundation upon which to build. So by listening to the energies in your home and environment, you will sense what you need to attend to in order to create stability and peace. Space clearing, decluttering, reorganizing, and activating 
or enhancing sectors will support you in your new journey, clearing all that is not needed anymore, that does not support your earth journey, all that has stayed with you for too long, that you no longer have any attachment to, both internally and externally must go now. As you keep evolving, your home needs to match your higher frequency in order to provide a solid and supportive foundation for you to manifest your new life. If your old space is not up to the job, then it's time to move along and find a new abode on Red Earth. Do not limit yourself, your options, your possibilities, as they are infinite. Be open and receptive to what is revealed in order to reflect and receive from a timeless place in the order of the universe. Expect the best and expect miracles. The places we inhabit, both at home, at work, and at play, need to anchor this unconditional love that permeates the walls, the floors, the ceiling, and everything therein. As this love embeds within, others are drawn to this space to merge in and comfortably inhabit. The higher the frequency of the space, the higher the vibration of people we attract. Now is the time to create the sacred spaces to nourish and nurture your soul. Imagine a whole world imbued with unconditional love and loyalty. So today we are guided by our hearts to find and create our sacred places in this beautiful new earth. Be careful not to get lost in the shadow games of duality consciousness. With this false matrix today, shine your light brightly and attune to your inner truth. Today's question is how can I stabilize what is being reflected in the light of truth to create sacredness and more love in my physical body and environment Divine blessings for the birthing of divine loving spaces to house your soul. And La Kek a la Kin, Christina White, Magnetic World Bridger, Kin 66, Kin 158, White Lunar Mirror. The mantra, the code for today is, I polarize in order to reflect. Stabilizing order, I seal the matrix of endlessness. With the lunar tone of challenge, I am guided by the power of heart. So sacred beings of light, living from your heart, let us know in the comments below what you're feeling, what you're experiencing, what you're seeing, your visions, your dreams, your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future uploads. And as always, we have a link in the description below with the transcriptions of today's transmissions, and we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. I'd like to also thank everyone for your support and your pledges on Patreon. If you'd like to support my mission and work, you could do so at patreon.com forward slash primedisclosure. That link is also in the description. And I'd like to give... A big thank you to Divine Sister of the Light Maureen in Charleston, South Carolina. Thank you very much for your donation, Divine Sister of the Light. That was very kind. And we will do a special ceremony for you in the sanctuary once it is manifest. So we'll tell a couple stories about the adventures today and some things that came through. So I spoke earlier of traveling to this portal today. I visited several portals throughout the day in between running errands and getting several things done, preparing every day for this great journey that I'm preparing to go on, seeing many omens and synchronicities to help guide me along the way. And every journey we go on is like a mini vision quest or a very powerful and transformative vision quest. But it is all part of the medicine way, the path of healing, path of resolving every conflict and issue, internal and external. This is a mirror, which we're all seeing through this white mirror energy, or the mind reflecting itself perfectly. So today, when I recorded the meditation at this portal for our Patreon page, many of the Wing Nation came to us. The Kingfisher multiple times throughout the meditation called to us. And I forgot to mention in the video and bringing down the heavenly chi through the crown into the lower dantian, when we turn the hands three times counterclockwise over the lower dantian, over the belly, we call that mixing the sacred elixir. Dantian has been translated as elixir field or field of elixir. And the elixirs were the sacred 
we could say elementals or chemicals or sacred mana of the alchemists. It means many things, but you can research elixirs. They're generally something that's consumed by either the apprentice, the disciple, the initiate, and the master themselves. The alchemist, the alchemist makes the sacred medicines, we'll call it. Medicines of transformation and healing and transmutation. The concept of transmuting lead into gold. A lot of times they worked with the mercurial energy. And this goes back to the times of Thoth and Hermes Trismegustus from the Greek. The Greeks learned a lot of their alchemy, science, magic from the Egyptians and then transmitted that to the West and Europe and then obviously it spread throughout the whole world. But many of the ancient, ancient traditions and lineages received their practices from these ancient civilizations of Lemuria, Atlantis, then Egypt, and it spread throughout this whole realm. So you see these synchronicities amongst every ancient tradition, culture, lineage, spiritual practices, and you see this in each and every lineage. I don't care if it's Buddhist, Taoist, Hindu, Hermeticism, these elements of sacred alchemy. So at this portal, when the Kingfisher came, she called several times throughout the video, and then a blue heron came to visit. Throughout the whole thing, many ducks were around with their little playful mannerisms. And then as I was walking back to my vehicle, a sacred vulture circled overhead multiple times. And then today, this afternoon, as I stopped by my mother's house, there was a huge queue in the sky, a cloud shaped like a big queue, and a cloud right in the middle of the queue. And Q symbolizes many things. The quelle, quell, however you say that in German, source, energy. It's also breaking the time loop, the Ouroboros. That sine wave that's through the O shape is symbolic of breaking free of timelines or breaking free of time loops. It's also quantum, this quantum leap of energy. And when I saw the Q in the sky, I realized it looked almost exactly like the ring of fire and all the points that have been activated through these earthquakes and of volcanoes and then Hawaii the heart of Lemuria was this island in the center of this great queue in the sky and as I spoke earlier in the transmissions about this dreamlike state especially with this full moon as I was leaving the house I felt like I was in a dream and my mother came out in the front porch and her neighbor, one of my good friends, Zachary, Zach from, he's Palestinian, but lived most of his life in Jordan. And he lived in Egypt for a while and I've known him for many years. And he was out watering his plants, his yards, like the Garden of Eden. And he has many pigeons and birds and all kinds of plants. And, and, and he's a very funny Hayoka. <laughs> from the Middle East and has a very hilarious laugh. We spoke, he was watering his plants and we spoke for a few minutes and as always we joke around about pretty much everything. <laughs> like I do with most people. So as I was pulling out, I said, you know, my mother was to my left, Zach to my right. And it was like they were looking at me like it was the last time they were ever going to see me. So it gave me this airy feeling, like in a dream, like you're going to wake from the dream and that dream goes away and your connection to the entities or beings in that dream dissolves. So it's, it's it kind of felt like this finer, final farewell kind of thing. And I thought, well, this might be the last time I'll see them. You never know. That is the mystery of timelines. You never know what tomorrow brings. And ultimately, you don't even know what the next moment brings, especially with these time accelerations and timeline jumps. Every day is a new adventure. So most people in the strangeness of this world right now agree. You could pretty much say to anyone on the street, welcome to the twilight zone, and they'll say absolutely. 
<laughs> I say you can't make this shift up. Or people feel like Groundhog's Day, like this repeat day after day of this nonsense with the craziness of the world. But within, between time and between these energies and around these energies is great beauty. And we really experience it when we go out to nature, when we spend time connecting with Gaia, connecting with the Tao, which is nature, which is source. That is like our church, standing barefoot in the sacred rivers. I recorded the meditation today by one of our sacred rivers. And there were moments of, as I moved after the meditation, where the uh, sunlight was pulsing different codes through the video. And then at sunset today, I uh, photographed multiple images and looked like uh, cloud ships and wild-looking patterns in the sky and this orange, bright orange-yellow ball, you know, the sun creating many patterns in the sky. And be careful driving out there. It seems like people with these timeline jumps or whatever's going on with these energies are not paying attention at all. <laughs> it's like you have to be a very defensive driver these days. Several days ago, my buddy and I were in a car and someone pulled into the wrong lane. So they were coming head on with us and there was a medium in the road. So we had to swerve to the right to miss them. Then the next day... My nephew and I got rear-ended, little fender bender, no one got hurt or damaged. And then yesterday, I was on the freeway surrounded by vehicles, and someone accidentally, I believe, tried to almost ram me off the road, and I had to swerve into a ton of traffic. But my the angelics and the dragons were there that just opened the road up and just missed a total impact at 60 miles an hour within inches. And then today, someone almost rammed into me from the side <laughs> so it's like okay let's pay attention people let's be here now that's part of the awareness that's what meditation does it brings you into this moment to be aware of what's around you that's why people need to meditate more they need to subscribe to my patreon and <laughs> start watching and practicing some of the meditations but seriously be careful out there and just be aware of your surroundings I feel like people are slipping into these altered states or dream states and just not paying attention. I'm seeing that more, but obviously it, we see these things happening around full moons anyways, but there's many strange things that are occurring in the matrix. So that's why getting out to nature or just chilling out is the best way and simplify, simplify, simplify. Unfortunately, many of us have to be on the road a lot. But that's okay, because what this is showing me with these multiple things, they all could have been a lot worse. And it shows that, obviously, our higher dimensional teams, the angelics, our dragon nations, our dragon legions, are always protecting us and looking after us. So this is part of reinforcing or deepening our faith, our faith in the universe, our faith in God, our faith in our teams, our faith in ourselves, because to keep going through and through and through and rising up and ascending through this great ascension process and this great awakening, we need faith. Faith is the cornerstone of our power, and it activates our divine courage. Because courage does not mean that you do not feel fear or apprehension or doubt all these things. It means we do it regardless the courage that builds up is that the conviction of we will do this no matter what, no matter what it takes, no matter what the consequence, no matter what the result. And that is the key to mastery and the key to ascension. There's only one rule, never give up. And there's times we take breaks, obviously. And sometimes we take that pause to rebuild our energy, rebuild our chi, and then go right back at it. It's like the old saying, when you fall down in the dirt, get up and dust yourself off and get back at it. And no matter what happens in our experience, just always fall back on and return to, for one, love, love which is source, which is your true self, but with the gnosis, the knowledge that 
We are always one with Creator and can never separate from Source. And in that, we are empowered by our knowledge of the truth that shall set us free as part of the freedom codes that only love is real. And through this great love, unconditional, eternal, pure love of Source, our true self, our true nature, this cultivates the courage, the faith, the tenacity, and the conviction to manifest our true heart's desire and our true visions. And together, as the nation of the star seeds, the rainbow nation of all tribes, we uplift all of humanity through our great efforts and through our great courage and through our most sacred practices. So thank you for joining me today, Sacred Being of Light. I love you all. Namaste.